Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Ms. Rafa. Today we're going to take the last lesson in this course. We're going to have the progress test number 3, page 104. So, get your activity book and let's get started. Read the following text, then do the tasks below. Body language Communication between people can be verbal by using a language to speak to others. Or Non-verbal by using the body language such as gestures or facial expressions. People in different parts of the world use different gestures to communicate non-verbally and these gestures may have different meanings from one place to another. Handshaking, for instance, is considered common around the world. However, to shake hands with others while greeting is something accepted and favorable in Western culture and expresses confidence. While people in the Far East, in Japan for example, don't prefer shaking hands strongly. This can be interpreted as aggressive. They bow instead. Talking about facial expressions, they are mostly considered to be universal and they are accepted and known widely. Expressing happiness, sadness, surprise, fear, disgust and anger are the same all over the world. Eye contact is another non-verbal language. For example, looking away while a person is talking to you means that you're not interested. Avoiding eye contact is a sign of respect for bosses and elders in many parts of the world. Understanding even a few gestures from different cultures can make you a good communicator. So, next time when you travel, try to be culturally sensitive, learn about the local gestures and let your body talk. Now let's see question A. Answer the following questions. What are the kinds of communication? It can be verbal by using the language to speak to others or non-verbal by using the body language such as gestures or facial expressions. Why don't the Japanese like handshaking? This can be interpreted as aggressive, they bow instead.
Give two examples of facial expressions. Smiling for happiness and crying for sadness. Question B. Find words in the text which mean the following. Expressed in spoken words. Verbal. Behaving in an angry, threatening way. Aggressive. Emotion of hand or body to express a thought or a feeling. Gesture. Question C. Rewrite these sentences about the text to correct the information. Western countries consider shaking hands aggressive. Japanese countries consider shaking hands aggressive. Looking into your parents' eyes is a sign of respect. Avoiding eye contact in your parents' eyes is a sign of respect in many parts of the world. Now let's move on to grammar. Question A. Use the words in brackets and in the box to ask for permission. Use your photocopier. Use your dictionary. Close the window. Borrow your pen. Turn on the TV. The first situation, you want to write down a telephone number. You're going to use can I? Can I borrow your pen? Situation 2. You're feeling cold. You're going to say, may I? May I close the window? Situation 3. You need a photocopy of a letter. You're going to say, may I? Please. May I use your photocopier, please? Situation 4. You want to watch a documentary? You're going to use May I. لاحظوا أن دائما لما بدي أطلب الإذن بستخدم May I لأنها بتكون الأكثر أدبا. May I turn on the TV? Situation 5. You want to find the meaning of a word. You're going to use may I. May I use your dictionary? Question B. Combine these sentences with the words in brackets. She is at the office. She is at the airport. We're going to use either or. She is either at the office or at the airport. The film was funny. It was exciting. 
we're going to use not only, but also. The film wasn't only funny, but also exciting. The English team didn't play well. The Scottish team didn't play well. We're going to use neither nor. Neither the English team nor the Scottish team played well. Julie bought a dress. She bought a jumper. We're going to use both and. Julie bought both a dress and a jumper. Question C. Report this conversation. Start each report to the question with He asked and each reply with I said. Ahmed, I arrived yesterday. I said, I had arrived the previous day. Or we can say, the day before. John, how long are you going to stay? He asked me, how long I was going to stay? Ahmad, I'm going to stay for three weeks. I said I was going to stay for three weeks. John, have you been to London before? He asked me if I had been to London before. Question D. Rewrite the sentences by putting the words in italics at the beginning and making any other necessary changes. We have the tamreen and the reversion, a club. It was only when we arrived in India that we saw elephants and tigers. Only did we see elephants and tigers when we arrived in India. نحط الفعل المساعد أول بعد الفعل وآخر شيء الفعل الأساسي. طبعا إذا كان الفعل الأساسي ما معه فعل مساعد فمن جيب الفعل do do و does بالحاضر did بالماضي. I'd hardly unpacked in my hotel room when my phone rang. Hardly had I unpacked in my hotel room when my phone rang. The reserve guards seldom catch illegal hunters. Seldom do the reserve guards catch illegal hunters. I have never before seen such a wonderful waterfall. Never have I seen such a wonderful waterfall before. There are no longer any tigers in the northern region. No longer are there any tigers in the northern region.
Now let's move on to everyday English. Write sentences to express these situations. Your friend's family is going on holiday next week. Your friend has invited you to join them. Accept the offer. Thank you. That would be great. Your father tells you that you have passed the driving test. Express your surprise. Oh, that's incredible! You're invited to attend the feast at your uncle's house. But you're too busy. Apologize tactfully. Unfortunately, I'm very busy these days. You want to leave work early because you're sick. Ask for permission. Is it okay if I leave early today? Now, at last we have the writing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Write a paragraph using the following prompts. The beauty of music, art, nature, etc. in different cultures. Your preference and justification. That's everything for today. Wish you all the best in your exams and in your life. Goodbye everyone.